Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? Today we got a pretty light day, not doing too much. Right now we're headed to Goodwill just to do a little quick drop off. I just been, like I, like you guys know already, we've just been getting rid of clothes at every opportunity that I can. So some stuff is not necessarily sellable in my opinion. So I just take it to Goodwill, get a little good donation out of it. It doesn't help me at all, but it doesn't hurt me either. Um, so headed there now. And then we're going to Carlos's studio slash office. We're gonna go to his space um, and just hang out there for a couple hours. I got Shepard in the car with me. It is a warm day in LA today, so I'm gonna turn the AC on because it is hot. It's always quick and easy. Goodwill is walking distance from my house, so that's also why I come here because it's really the easiest thing for me to do is to come here to just get rid of stuff that it's a little random for stuff that I know I'm not gonna wear or want to care to sell. So, I mean, yeah, I could probably sell something for like five bucks or whatever, but head into Carlos now. I'm running a little late. I told him 12 o'clock. It's like 12.30 right now, but I already texted him, so. Just parked outside of the studio, office, whatever you want to call it. Shepard's in the back, knocked out. You gotta get him out of the car. Try not to wake him up at the same time. I'll never try calling Carlos or texting Carlos during the week. The man's phone is always on do not disturb. Shepard is awake. There's a lot of noise in the lobby, so I ended up waking him up, but we on the way. This guy. Good. <laughs> Man, up Shepherd. Yeah, you know the vibe. Made it to the spot with my boy. Over here doing these corrections. I'm late on all these, uh, <laughs> all these videos. You know it. Again, we're gonna cancel the content. I say, bust 20 minutes. <laughs> I did that dish in 24 hours, boy. You see his setup. Setup is sick. That's yeah. why he's working, man. Working hard. Yo, I, I can grab one of these Lawrence. Yeah. You can. Uh, there might be a Lawrence. Nah, room temperature straight. The basketball hoop. You know, I'm gonna have to get busy one time. Oh. I'll give you guys a quick tour of Carlos' space. See what we got going on here because this setup is super dope, honestly. When you walk in, poster to here, which is sick on canvas. You know, virtual rug, chairs, got all his boxes and stuff for his orders. Shout out to Ghost. Man's is sponsored by at this point. Man is sponsored over here. More inspiration up on the walls here. Obviously his setup, which you guys saw earlier. This man gets it in, I'm telling you. Oh, don't forget the plaque. We can't we can't skip out on the plaque. Oh here. yeah, there's some light. You know, hundred thousand. Jeez. That's goals. That's so sick. And then you know, he got the Lambo. He's just waiting until he get the full joint, but this is starter kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one for his daughter. You got Baby Shepherd in here, obviously. It's a living room set up. That's why I'm working right now for a little bit. YouTube video up on the on the TV. Oh, actually, shout out to Donye. Oh yeah, the little brand thing. Huge, huge shout out to Donye. I'm gonna post her, her website link so you guys can go shop this brain bank. It's really sick. It's like a modern spin on a piggy bank. And it comes with these $2 bills where you write your ideas and then you deposit them into the bank. So, super cool ideas. Big mirror, so that's my outfit of the day. I've been daily driving these Levi's. Got my beater bands on, these things are like sun bleached. Vintage flannel, all ripped up, vintage hat. You know, I stay with the horse and booze on. So, yeah, I saw the basketball hoop where it took me about four tries to get a bucket. And then his stock room is back in here. Y'all might not even know it, but me and Carlos been friends for like, how long has it been, like seven years? It's been a while, man. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty long time since we like originally met. I remember, yo, what's crazy is, I remember when we first, like when we first started following each other on Instagram, this was a minute ago and kind of cringe, honestly, but we were in this like group on Instagram 
in oh, group yeah. DMs and we would like every time somebody posts, we engage. would we would pop it in the in the group and be like, yo, engage, engage, engage. Everybody did that. <laughs> yo, I forgot Everybody about that. that. It was a lot of people in there, honestly. People that we like I still don't wouldn't mind talking to. Um but, Yeah, bro, it was crazy. It was so wild. But that was when we originally met and then, you know, fast forward to Lincoln in New York, and then now he lives here in LA. So, you know, we spend a lot of time together, honestly, but y'all don't see it all the time. Shipper found himself, get off the manual. Shipper found himself to the Lambo. He's like, I like what I see here. And I gotta go get him one. Put it on his birthday list. Four months away. His birthday? Yeah, four months, he'll be one years old. Man. It's crazy. crazy. Okay. So I'm gonna put some on TV. What the hell? What? There's another Justin Boone. Where? Walk around and distance testing my bills. What? Nah, that's crazy. What the hell is that? 166 views, boy, in your ass. Wait, so I'm on freaking Carlos's YouTube channel, about to find a video to watch. <laughs> and I see my name, and I'm like, that's not my video. That's a whole other Justin Boone. Got 166 views from five days ago. All respect to the homie, but he needs to change his, he needs to change his channel name. Look at that. What's going on here? And he's a white man, of course. We covered, we good. Uh, I just don't understand, like, why would you pack a to go order and not, um, not put any, like, silverware in there? Like, bro, eat with your hands. Nigga. That's a fact. Boy, he's got the good eats. Yes, sir. Over there at Holy Basil, boy, look, like, ooh. With the little uh, spicy fish sauce, it'd be busting, bro. Yeah, it's the oh, first one, yeah. we to get it in. There you go, that's a rich eat. Am I done? Mm -hmm. I can order somebody ordered a whole lot of stuff. God oh yeah, that's the kit. This is the top seller. The full kit and caboodle. Only 60 bucks. You get all the scrubbers. You get everything you want. Once one fellow swipe. Boom. Do that. Fold it up. Add the card. Damn. Tape it up with the sticker on it. And we out. Call me young, pack it up. Young, pack it up. Young, pack it up, boy. Uh, there you go. Mm, Big chilling. Look at you. You like, go. He said, why well, it's not moving? Right, bro, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I'm like the real brother and friend that I am. We gonna lock it in. Help Carlos pack some orders real quick.
finished packing up some orders. We did like, what was that like 20 orders? A little like 20. I ain't gonna let y'all see the addresses, but you know, we stacked up over here. Shepherd is asleep, burnt out. Like Carlos said, like he did something. Shepherd, acting like he just packed the orders. But I am about to get out of here. I'm gonna head back to the house. It's probably gonna be some traffic. And I gotta come back downtown because I got basketball later. Exactly. That'd be worse. Wait, one time for the one time. We gotta do a wrist check. Well, oh yeah. What you got on the wrist? They just today? 41 millimeter mm. Jubilee, you know. Mm. Bang. Mm. You know, keep it keep it light on the, the bezel, nothing. Jeez. None of that fluid stuff. Jeez. I don't need to be too standoff. It speak for itself. <laughs> that boy, that boy Lowe's got the fit on today with the green. Hey, you know, I told him I was gonna put a little, little color green. on it. You know, the detail, a little pop of green and a little oh, something oh. light. Put like something that. on the day. And I had to, had to step outside. I like the way that hoodie fit, too. Tire. I like the way that hoodie fit. It fits good. Oh, um, it's my boy, uh, Abu. His, his brand, June or whatever. He was sending me shit. Yeah, that sounds tough. Oh, they, oh, they got the raglan sleeves on it, too, which is yeah, dope. Something, something light. That's fire. And we out. All right. Just left Carlos' studio. Walking to the car now to head back home. Today was super dope. It was cool. Also very inspiring to like, obviously Carlos and I have been friends for a while, but to see his process in real time, to be able to help him, you know, I think all that stuff goes a long way. And, you know, I've mentioned this a lot, but one day I want to have my own studio. One day I want to have my own office space. One day, you know, I have my own brand and I pack my own orders, obviously, but just want to take it to the next level soon. And this is part of the reason why I'm doing this in the first place is because I've seen so many examples of people growing their brands and their businesses via YouTube as a platform because it's such a good way to expand your network and everything. So I'm just really looking forward to whatever's gonna come from this, fully trusting in God, not really asking for a lot, but hoping for a lot, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I think that I'm on the right track. I am definitely making the right decisions. And I think that this is gonna definitely be proved to be fruitful. So I hope that this is encouraging for you guys too. If you guys have any questions about Carlos and what he does and all that, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel again in my description box, along with his Instagram account. And you guys can check him out. All right, guys, I'm back in the car. You did not see me get home or anything like that. I was only home for like 10 minutes and I was talking to my mom on the phone the whole time, but I am on my way to go play basketball. I doubt I'm gonna record any of it just because I haven't played in like two weeks. Um, and I usually play every week, but all my jury's off and everything like that. And I'm headed to the court now. Uh, we're playing at the Shoe Surgeons studio. Basketball's over. I did all right. I ain't played in like three weeks, so I didn't expect too much out of myself, but um, it was definitely cool. They also have soccer there, so I'm gonna definitely go and play some pickup soccer. I gotta buy some indoor shoes though, cause I don't have any, but I am definitely looking forward to getting some touches in on the soccer field. It's futsal, and I ain't played futsal in a minute, so we'll see, but I'm excited, man. I just like, I just like activities. I just like getting my body moving. Um, so pick up futsal is Tuesday nights, basketball with Soul House is Monday nights. So yeah, there's definitely lots to do, um, but we shall see. But anyway, I'm gonna end up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.